Oh, come on. There we go. You need dash attack to make absolutely sure that you get across here. Open this thing and look and look at this. You got the cane of Samaria. It will be very helpful to you if you. It will be very helpful if you make proper use of it. What a mysterious cane. So that's kind of jerkish, just a little. Not really, but just in the sense that they don't tell you what the cane of Samaria does. What the cane of Samaria does is it's actually one of the most interesting items in the Zelda series. Now that I think about it, what it does is it places down blocks every time you use the Y button. Which is pretty cool, you can use it to like, place on switches and stuff. Actually, no, I think about it, I feel like they should bring it back. Because it could make for some really cool puzzles. Um, we don't want to go this way though. Actually, wait. No, wait, no, 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 we don't want to go this way. So... Uh, I got an idea. Go over here. Let's go down. Let's go over here. We'll go up. And into this room. And then we can warp back to that area. So I'll show you guys what the can of Samaria does in uh, just a second. We're actually gonna need to use it quite soon. It actually does take a magic power, so be wary of that. So we're gonna go down here. And this is what we needed um, to hit that switch for. We needed this because it's one of those deals where like you stand on the switch, it's open, but then you step off it and it's not. So what you actually need to do is you need to use the can of Samaria. And you press Y, and you can push this, you may get like this little block here. You can pick it up, uh, and you can push it. Oh wow, keep triggering it. There we go. Alright, you just want to go over here now. Um, also, if you use the can, if you, um, here, let me show you. You can also, like, disband the cube, and you can make it so that, like, it blasts off in four directions and with, like, fireballs. It'll, like, shoot off, it'll shoot fireballs in four directions, and that actually damage enemies. Yep, damages them. So that's pretty cool. You can use it for combative purposes as well. I think you also throw the cube at enemies, which is kind of cool. Wow, this video is long. So, I actually don't know what's in that room down there. It might be rupees, but I don't know. We don't need rupees though, so yeah. Just gonna keep going. So I'm not sure what we need to hit that for. I think you just go through without any trouble, but it's probably there for a reason, so. Okay, we're going down here. And yeah. Okay, yeah, you do need to hit that. Alright, so let's just um, use our hook shot. Hit that. <coughs> You know, I haven't been using my magical boomerang in quite some time. I'm proud of myself. Okay, uh, we need to use it again. Oh, but we have a bottom of a wall right there. I guess I'll go in this room. I think it's just rupees. This might have been the room that I was thinking of. I don't know where you'd get another key to open that other door. Okay, the uh, part of this room is rupees, but I don't know how you get there. Oh, looks like another, um... Oh, crap. I wonder, is that blast long enough? No, it's not. Alright. So we'll hit this. We'll go in here. 
Oh, uh, is that Wallmaster? No, but there's probably one in here. Uh, oh, shite. We're a bunny now. Kid now. We're a kid now, sorry. Kid now is not proper grammar. Alright, guys, so we wanted to press that switch. Oh, fuck that, man. Alright, it's okay. Watch this. Blah. Alright, he's trying to go around. He's trying to cut us off. That's okay, we're smarter than that. So now what you want to do, unlock the door, and here we go. Alright, we got the boss here. This is, this right here is Vitreus, the boss of the of Misery Mire. Uh, actually, I don't know why I have my hook shot out, but you don't need it. I was thinking of Argus. Um, basically, he's going to send out these, um... He's going to send um, these eyeballs out at you, and whenever he pops his eye out of this gelatinous thing, you just want to get away from him because he'll actually shoot lightning at you. So be cautious of that. He also angles his attacks, kind of. At least it looks like he does. Uh, yeah, you just want to kill the eyes. They seem to have a lot of defense. I'm going to turn invisible here. So if this man cannot damage me, we can kind of just stand up here. Oh crap. Okay, now once he has four eyes, he's going to jump at us with his regular eye. Can you shoot this man with an arrow, actually? Yes, you can. Just like uh, regular eyeballs. Okay, I forgot that if you step in the gelatinous thing, you take damage. So don't get too close to him. Like, don't go up here. But this isn't that hard of a boss fight, honestly. Just use some dash attacks, he's kinda slow, and yeah, he's already dead, so... And apparently after he's dead, the thing no longer damages you, so that's pretty cool. Alright. There we go, let's claim, let's claim our prize. Yes, may the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. Oh man, you know that feeling when like you think you're about to sneeze but it's not coming out? I'm getting that feeling right now. Oh, I used to yawn though. I'm actually recording earlier than usual. It's 12.56 AM. <coughs> no, there it is. If you guys would say bless you in the comments, or just bless you at all, thank you. It's okay if you don't, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'm just, while I don't like it, I'm used to people not saying bless you to me. Because, like, nobody at fucking school ever says bless you whenever I sneeze. But whenever someone else sneezes, people say bless you. I don't understand. It's like I'm not even there, man. Anyway, though. Yeah, it's been a pretty long episode, and we were told that, we were told from that last Maiden that Zelda is waiting for us on Turtle Rock. Next time in The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, that's exactly where we're going to be going, because it looks like, because if you look at our inventory, you only have one crystal left, and you can only guess who that is. That belongs to Zelda. So next time The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, we're going to be finding out where this turtle rock is. And yeah. So, I'll see you guys next time.